Hey, here we are. We're in El Paso going to run the Wicked Wine Run 5K. Apparently, it is the run with a drinking problem. And our niece with us, her first, first ever. First one. First ever. This is pretty exciting stuff. All right, so how are we feeling? Excited, nervous. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. So, uh, obviously, we have never done this one. Uh, we're in the middle of a vineyard. And so, stick around. Here we go. Tell you what, I'm ready for the wine at the end. All right, let's get a countdown from three, two, one. All right, so the terrain, tough. it's tough. It's like, uh, I mean, we had, we had some berms, uh, kind of scary, uh, you know, uh, you know, you could slide down. And then uh, we had some, gr uh, like, gravel. That was a little scary. Now we're in this, uh, I guess, I don't know, what would you call this? A dead grove leaves. of trees, and it's like dead leaves and Sorry. leaves and grass. But we're doing all right. Oh, 
All right, we've got less than 0.1. Carolyn's gonna finish her first 5K. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's do it. You got it, come on. It's just right there. And the crowd goes wild. Thank you. Watch your step. Here we go. You want to hold my hand? Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, you did it. High five. High five. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Just because you get oh. <laughs> hey, hey, thank you so much for joining us. And sorry for the delay. You know, we try our best to do uh, one a week when we uh, upload our videos, but we were out of town. And as suspected, we had hotel related Wi-Fi issues. So we didn't even record a recap there. We didn't even try to edit. Mm -hmm. We couldn't get connected to Wi-Fi right. at all at the hotel. Right. So, so, but here we are. are. Whoa. <laughs> you saw that, right? <laughs> uh, we're home. We have Millie back. That's right. She had a great vacation at Grandma and Grandpa's house. She did. She put on some pounds. As one does at Grandma and Grandpa's house. <laughs> We, we also put on some pounds. <laughs> vacation, vacation. <laughs> awesome food in El Paso. Uh, we also had the privilege of running a 5K with sharing somebody's first 5K. First, her first. There will be more. She hasn't committed to that yet, but we are positive there will be more. Right. <laughs> she actually said the opposite, but we know she doesn't mean yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because we say that every time we run something, right? It's like, ah, why did we do this? We're not doing this again. And then, you know, after the soreness goes away and we forget about the pain, we're like, hey, when are we going to do another one? So anyway, uh, you, you, you saw the footage. It was a very interesting race. Uh, it turns out it's not a timed race. Mm -hmm. And there were a ton of people there. We pulled up to this place. So first of all, this winery, it's in quote unquote El Paso. It's actually in New Mexico, but it's like close enough to be called like, oh, it's, you know, the closest right, major well, city, of course, yeah, is going to be El Paso. Yeah, right on the border, I think. Um, and But it's like outside of town and it's mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Like we're driving down this like back road to get there. Oh, and then wow. we see uh, like the line. Of, we First of all, we see a line of cars. For a while, we were the only ones driving. Uh -huh. And then there's a line of cars stacked up, people turning left on this little two lane road. Mm -hmm. And we look over and there were just like so many cars parked here. <laughs> it was a much larger run than I was expecting. Yeah, I, I, I... There were a lot of people there. A lot of people. A lot of people. And, and, and because of that, I mean, and that's always good to see. Sure. But yeah. because of that, if, you know, you watch the uh, footage, the, the race route was at times narrow and elevated. <laughs> So there's nowhere to go. Right by a very yeah. large, at least what, five or six feet drop? Yeah, yeah, on both Ooh. sides. You know, a big berm. Uh, the the irrigation systems mm -hmm. for the farms, uh, where this uh, vineyard uh, obviously um, uh, is situated. Uh, you know, those those ditches. Yeah, you know. So even if you wanted to run around somebody, well, yeah. you're, you're not. So that yeah. that was uh, that interesting. was interesting. The terrain there were at least three types of terrain. One was a, a really really uh, like a beach sand heavy. We were sinking. Yeah, we were sinking. sliding. It was tough. dust was getting kicked up. Oh, like we were blowing windy day blowing too. lots of yeah yeah <laughs> blowing and lots then, of dust out of our nose for two days <laughs> at least. <laughs> And then uh, uh, the other terrain was kind of this rocky, twist your ankle kind of terrain. Mm, and, you know, mm -hmm. I mentioned this before, I have ankles of glass. So that was kind of like, whoa. Uh, and then the last one was uh, a grassy patch where that uh, grove of trees was. Mm -hmm. But it was a very uneven kind of grass. And so all the, the, the dead leaves were like drawn to my sock line. 
Just like, <laughs> yeah. You hear a lot of like, ow, ow. ow. Yeah, uh, yeah, you've been there. But it was a, uh, it was fun, and they made it fun. You know, another thing, it was an evening run. It, uh, oh. it, it started at five thirty p.m., which is not when we like to run. We've <laughs> never run runners. an organized race. Mm -hmm. in the never. Evening. And part of the reason I think that never happens here is because we are extremely humid yeah. here, and it's like torture. Yeah. It's it's really, really awful mm -hmm. if you need to run in the afternoon when it's 85 degrees. And even that's like better than usual. But, yeah. you know, it was it was 83. Uh -huh. It was like between 80 and 85 when we when we went out to this run. But it's in the middle of the desert. And it was so pleasant. It, it really was. It was 4%. We're going to move to the desert someday. It was 4%. Back to the desert. It was 4% it was humidity on that run. <laughs> it was so nice. 4%. It was yeah. so nice. Yeah. I, I don't was, think we even sweat. Yeah, I was waiting to sweat. I'm like, <laughs> maybe I'm not doing this right. Um, but <laughs> but it was it was desert. it was fun. They made it very yeah. it was a very party atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I mentioned uh, I mentioned uh right before our start, uh the tagline for this uh, wicked wine run is uh, the five K with a drinking problem. So they had a uh, DJ out there. Yeah. I think you you probably heard the mm, 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 mm. Mm. <laughs> It was good though. Yeah, yeah, it was good. good stuff. They have food trucks and mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, and wine. Wine like immediately past the finish line. Like, yeah, immediately. like probably should have been yeah. a little bit further yeah, past. It, it, we had it, to backtrack it, it, and get in line. Uh, and it was good wine. It was. Good wine. So we got our yeah. uh, we got our souvenir wine glasses and uh, we had our uh, celebratory wine. Mm -hmm. It was great. It was fun. Mm -hmm. And again, yay, Carolyn! Carolyn finished her. <laughs> First 5K ever. And I know, you know, she, it, it was, it was for us, I think, it was kind of neat because she was a first time runner. And, you know, thinking back about the, the first time you ran something, uh, you forget some of it, like, you know, oh my God, what the hell am I doing? Mm -hmm. and why do I hurt here? I don't mm -hmm. hurt here during training. Uh, what is this dust? How do I get around this person in front of me? Right. How do I pass somebody? How do mm -hmm. I avoid, you know, bumping into somebody? Is it okay to do this? Or mm -hmm. so all of that kind of, kind of, you, you know, it happened with her, and so we were happy to be there, and um, it was great. It was neat. It was a lot of fun. And it was vacation. And then we had an awesome. So that was day one. We rolled into town. We flew into town at like seven in the morning. Oh, by the way, there were only uh, twenty-two people on our flight. It was beautiful. <sighs> it was Gosh, absolutely it was nice. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so we flew into town, 7 a.m., we got some breakfast, we went to the farmer's market, we went to a museum, we rested, mm -hmm. and then we got ready for the race. So, like, first day, we're there, and then we're running that race. So mm -hmm. then, the next three days, we got to have fun. Yeah. And we did. And we did. Yeah, it was lovely. I, El, El, Paso. I love El Paso. El Paso is beautiful. Uh, you notice mm -hmm. in the scenery, I miss seeing the mountains mm -hmm. in, in the background. It's something uh, you don't get uh, where we are now. Um, it, 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 was, it was really nice. And, you know... Four percent humidity. <laughs> I just take me, uh, take me there. Yeah, we even uh, <sighs> we even grabbed our. I'm gonna admit this. We grabbed our stinky clothes that we ran in on Saturday, okay. and we put them back on to. We went for another run. Uh, yeah, that was fun actually. So from our hotel, we, our hotel was um, near the University of El Texas at El Paso, UTEP <clears throat> campus. And it's about a mile and a half from downtown. So we were gonna meet Carolyn for breakfast mm -hmm. downtown. So we, first of all, made sure it wasn't a fancy place and that we could show up in our already used before running clothes that we were gonna re-sweat up. <laughs> one of these days we'll remember to pack more than one pair of running clothes because uh, we are finding ourselves actually wanting to go running yeah, on vacation. Yeah, yeah. So we ran downtown and it was actually downhill. It was. So there are a lot of hills here. We're in mountainous regions. Yeah. It's a valley, but there's yeah. there's hills. Yeah. So it was mostly downhill. It was great. Mm -hmm. And we got there and she wasn't there yet. We got there faster than she expected. So mm -hmm. we were like, okay, well let's run somewhere else. So we ran to the um <laughs> we ran to the they have a, a minor league baseball team there called the Chihuahuas. The Chihuahuas. The Chihuahuas. The Chihuahuas. And um their mascot looks like um sweet rest in peace junior. Um, it looks just like a little junior. So we were going to try to get some merchandise with juniors, you know. A little Chihuahua merchandise. Awesome. Awesome so, logo. Awesome logo. We ran like, you know, 0.6 miles over there. We didn't find anything. That's fine. We ran back and had breakfast. And then, yeah. so we ended up running like two and a half miles. Uh-huh. Right? Almost it three. Nice. It was yeah. three. It was nice. Yeah. It was nice. And it was no, great. we didn't run uphill on the way back. We, no, we, we had back. such a great meal. <laughs> 
and uh, you ride. know some some alcohol that we got to ride Vacation, back. vacation. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, another another yeah another uh, training week. Uh, and that's okay. So and now we're like. Oof. We don't have any more runs scheduled, scheduled any more yeah. uh, races scheduled. Mm -hmm. I'll keep an eye out to see if there's something we could do, but it's we're also just like on the verge of it getting hot as blazes here. Yeah. So the races, we don't have as many races during the summer. Yeah, right. But I'll keep an eye out. If we don't find anything else, what we're going to do is basically bide our time for the next 11 or 12 weeks. Yeah, 11 or 12 weeks. Until we start training for Marathon 2023, yeah. the Walt Disney World Marathon in next January. Yeah. So that'll start in June or July. We have a calendar, but I don't remember when yeah. exactly it is. But we'll keep, uh, we'll keep uploading yeah. once a week. We always have something going on. I'm still uh, going through... Uh, awesome physical therapy which has helped me immensely you graduated physical therapy i'm done my last um session was last week and i'm completely pain-free and i'm much stronger than i used to be and running feels better than it ever has so we'll Thank update you, you yeah really yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll update you on, on that and then uh, also if you're thinking about uh, marathon weekend in Disney World 2023. Mm, registration's, that, registration's coming, up. coming up in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. A couple of weeks. So there you go. Thanks for joining. Hope you liked it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the notification button. You'll find out immediately when we upload. We try once a week. Once a week. Yeah. Boy, that was a, an average of once a week. An average. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, we had a great vacation. Mm -hmm. We're going to do more running. Yep. More updates. You know it. Always <laughs> an adventure with you.